but it's important to note that with all of what was going on the last two weeks, these men and women are dedicated professionals that went out and did their jobs. And I can report that all of the people that were arrested, there was not one injury, there was not one complaint, and fortunately there was no officers injured either. So with that, let me just start by saying this was a result of Operation PAC, which is a uh, acronym for preventing acts of community tragedy. Uh, in early May, I directed officers to conduct this operation starting as the summer months approached. This operation began on May 29th and ended on June 23rd. The goal of this four week directed, and it was a directed enforcement operation, was for officers to conduct a sweep. This is the biggest sweep in the history of the Warren Police Department. A sweep of all areas of the city and the focus on those crimes which impact the community's sense of safety, security, and overall well-being. I felt it important that the department take proactive, and I say proactive enforcement action at the start of summer so that the community understands that the Warren Police Department will not tolerate violent crime, gun crimes, or property crimes. The Warren Police Department also took a proactive approach towards traffic enforcement, particularly in the residential areas. This operation was the largest, as I said, directed enforcement operations in the department's history and was spearheaded and coordinated by Special Investigation Division Lieutenant Matthew Dillenbeck, who did a great job. And he'll be, uh, you'll be hearing from him shortly. In conjunction with numerous officers from the Uniform Patrol Division of this department, working together, working together with the Uniform Patrol Division, teams comprised of 33 additional officers focused their enforcement efforts in neighborhoods throughout the city of Warren against those suspected of committing criminal activity. And as you can see from the chart here, the results were quite frankly more astounding than anybody, anybody could have imagined. The number of arrests, the weapons seized, vehicles seized, and stolen vehicles taken off the streets exceeded all of our initial expectations. Now I'll go over some of the stats with you for this operation. Total arrests, 442. Total charges issued, 718. 393 felony charges, 325 misdemeanor charges. The arrest of people with warrants, with warrants, outstanding warrants, 339. Of those, felony warrants, 165. Misdemeanor warrants, 174. Now, total gun seized, 68 weapons taken off the streets of Warren, 68 weapons. Total vehicle seized, 73. Stolen vehicles recovered, 24. Citations, traffic citations issued, over 2,000, over 2,000 issued. And then our overall calls for service, 5,829. Now, let me expand on a few of these numbers. In addition to the city of Warren, those arrested had residents from 45 cities across Michigan and two bordering states. Arrestees showed residents in many cities, including Sterling Heights, Troy, Marquette, Ypsilanti, Ypsilanti, West Branch, excuse me for that, as well as out-of-state residents of Toledo, Ohio, Lima, Ohio, and uh, Jacksonville, Illinois. The age range of those arrested is 18 to 69 years old, not counting the 17 juveniles, though that are under 18. We apprehended in the commission of various crimes, including illegal firearm possession. As far as criminal charges issued, many of those arrested were arrested for some very serious felony crimes. And I'm just going to give you a few examples, and then Lieutenant Dylan Beck will uh, give you additional um, examples. It included carrying a concealed weapon, five-year felony, possession of controlled substance, four-year felony minimum, Assault with intent to commit murder, life in prison. 
and home invasion 20-year felony. Now, many of those arrested had previous felony convictions and faced additional charges as habitual offenders or charges for being a felon in possession of a firearm, which was a frequent occurrence in this operation. I felt it equally important to talk about some of the other results produced by Operation PAC. Officers made a large amount of misdemeanor arrests throughout the operation, as I indicated. Many of these misdemeanor arrests were neighborhood-based, neighborhood-based arrests that affect the quality of life for Warren residents and businesses. Some quick examples include arrests for operating while intoxicated, narcotics paraphernalia, reckless driving, careless driving, neglect discharge of a firearms, retail fraud, and public intoxication. Now, officers also, as I said, directed their traffic enforcement to residential area, paying special attention to speeding, stop sign, and other infractions which create dangerous conditions in the neighborhoods. In addition, officers were able to successfully recover 24 stolen vehicles belonging to residents of Warren and other cities. As, you, as we can all see, the operation produced significant numbers and was overwhelming success in many areas.